当心一点哈，不要碰到这个碰倒了，砸到砸到受不了了哈。好。Now we are just to change the blood and the And while we change the blade and the sheen in the slitting block, also we have to change the spacer in tension station. Those kind of the preparation is just good for a uh, different strip widths. Here's the spacer on tension station. In this video, I gonna to show you how we just change the blade and the sheen on the slitting axis. <laughs> okay, so let's take one look. Uh -huh. okay. This is blade and here's sheen. And also we got some spacer or pad. And here's all the spot, spare parts. Let's check. Here's the blade. The blade we have the T slot. The thickness of the blade is 10 millimeter. And here is the sheen. And we can see the sheen thickness is six. Those kind of the different thickness of the sheen will make the gap 
So we are seeing any inside we can get the strip widths. This is how we do. In this part, actually, it requires some skills and the knowledge how we just got these the strips by different combination with shin and the blade. And there was another question is about the straightness or the vertical for the the strips. How can we just make the accurate of the width of the strips? We have the T slot on the slitting axis, and also we have the slot on the this place, and even all of the shaft and the blade is well milled, heat treated. This kind of the process will help the cutting strip is more accurate. So this is the, the, the other part. And I have just counted the time uh, if the if uh, for example, this is uh, somehow skilled uh, operator to change over the unit of the shin and the blade. It will cost him just like 15 minutes. Fifteen to twenty minutes. The up axis is done. The upper part is done.
except to change the shin and the blade on the slitting axis. And the secondary station is change the spacer on the tension station. And in the last, we're gonna change the spacer on the recoiler, the press arm. Also finish. Here's, here's what we did. This is up blade and this is the down blade. See? This is kind of the power line line. This is how we got the cutting blade. Okay, now we, let's check how it how it working. It's motorized and it's automatically moving inside. And now the last uh, step is check the gap of the blade. And also it's automatic. It's remote. It's about the gap of up layer and the down layer of the blade.
and the, way, the last step is just to lock down the nut.